Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne, and today I'll be covering this ASIO MGK1 backlit mechanical gaming keyboard featuring the kale blue switches and white backlighting. Here's a look at everything that comes in the box. We have the keyboard itself, which I'll go over in just a bit, but first, a look at the other accessories. Now here, in this baggie, is a kind of reddish, orangish keycap puller. And it's plastic and a bit stiffer than I would like because when I remove the key, I don't want it to scratch it. And I prefer companies to provide more wire pullers because those are just generally better for your keycaps. Next up is this uh, guide. It says happy, and on the inside, it's a way to share maybe a review, or that, oh hey, I've got this cool keyboard here. <laughs> and the flip side is the troubled, sad face, kind of reminds me of maybe a Zotac commercial. <laughs> anyway, but inside is a way to contact them by phone, email, and the like, so you can definitely get in touch with that ASIO. Now, last but not least is this palm rest. It's got this nice textured soft touch finish and it's actually quite comfortable. I've tried it using the keyboard for a bit and uh, you know, I, I like it. Now on the other side is the attachment. So we're going to go ahead and attach it to the keyboard. It's very simple. Look at that. On the back, it's this, once again, I'd like to say strawberry red maybe finish. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and attach this. So there is this groove here, obviously for the wrist rest and you go ahead and just snap it into place. And what I like is that when I shake it about and turn it around, this wrist rest does not flop about. I do like that it's a lot more sturdy and simply just, you know, snap off just like this. But while we're on the back here, I do want to go over some of the uh, features, such as these rubberized feet on the four corners of the keyboard to keep this in place when you are using it, and also angled feet so that you can get that height preference of that is more comfortable for you. One last thing actually is this soft braided cable with I believe USB 2 connector and you get six feet of this cable. Here's a closer look at the keyboard. I'm going to go over the dimensions first. It measures 445 millimeters or 17.5 inches along this edge, 137 millimeters or 5.4 inches along this edge, and 35 millimeters or 1.4 inches thick. And it weighs in at 1,060 grams or 2.3 pounds. And let's go over the finish. So what I like about it is that it's got this nice gunmetal anodized aluminum faceplate. It's you know, some more solid material. And I do like the slim look of the keyboard as in there's, you know, no extra pieces popping out. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Poseidon Z and kind of what I liked about that as well. And this is a standard QWERTY layout with a full numpad and ABS laser etched keycaps. Here's a look at the function key that will give you some alternate commands via the F keys at the top of the keyboard. So let's start off on this corner. Now F1 will open up your internet browser, F2 your email, F3 calculator, this is really cool because I crunch numbers and you know, I'm just happy about that. <laughs> and then F4 would be your media player, and it's not something I see on every keyboard so it's a nice touch. Now F5 to F8, these are your multimedia keys for play, pause, and the like. And uh, F9 is Windows Lock because after all, this is a gaming keyboard and this will come in handy. Now F10 and F11 are your LED brightness adjust. And F12 finally, that uh, is to change the different LED modes, you know, on, off, and reactive mode. Very cool. Although I wish they would have just put mode here because the symbol there, I couldn't figure it out until I tried it out. And it looks kind of like a dominoes. Now let's go over to the right corner of the keyboard. So you get some LED indicators for caps lock, nums lock, and uh, the windows lock. And at the far end, you do get a mute button as well as a volume wheel. And the volume wheel is rubberized textured and you get this notch feeling so you know that you're going up like about two levels uh, in volume. And uh, kind of reminds me of the K70 actually. Also using the function key, you can access the uh, insert, delete, and use them as 6KRO and NKRO. You must be wondering, why won't I just want to be an NKRO the whole time? Well, because for Mac users, you can only be on 6KRO, and the shortcut keys as well as NKRO are Windows only. As for the spacebar stabilizer, I have a photo to show you. It comes with a wire stabilizer. 
Here's a closer look at the kale switches, uh, but first another look at the aluminum back plate beneath the keys, which is definitely a nice touch. Um, but let's go back to the kale switches. You'll notice that there's an LED above each of these because this is a per-key illuminated keyboard. And as for the actual, you know, feel and sound of the kale blues, uh, they are clicky and bumpy, very much like the MX Blue. So here's a quick sound test. So you have a better idea of how they sound. Here's a look at the keyboard LEDs. Right now we have NumLock on, I'm gonna turn on Caps Lock, and finally, Function F9, which is Windows Lock. So there it is, it's very bright and that's what I like about it. Now let's go to the uh, different modes of lighting, shall we? Function F12, this will be reactive mode and it's just really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, we have just the regular lighting mode. It has four lighting levels, so that's one, two, three, four. There we go. And then back to low, back to high. Here's a look at the pros and the cons. So what I like about this keyboard, well, the brushed aluminum top plate is really awesome because I don't see a lot of keyboards with that. Most of them are just plastic. <laughs> and the palm rest is very comfortable and I like how the uh, status indicators are really bright and reactive lighting mode is definitely awesome. And also love the dedicated mute button and volume wheel and the hotkeys for internet browser, email, calculator, and media player. Those are not often seen on keyboards. And one last thing is Windows lock, which is always good to have around when you are gaming. And here's a look at the cons. I'm going to start off at the backspace key and the enter key. They've kind of got this high-pitched after sound, I guess that's how I call it, and uh, I don't really like that, but who knows, maybe I have uh, sensitive ears, and this might be a sample, so maybe the model that you get will be a little different. And also, the LEDs, which it could have been brighter on the highest setting, um, and there needs to be more lighting modes. Although for the price, it is a very feature-packed keyboard. Well, that wraps up the video on this ASIO MGK1 mechanical gaming keyboard featuring the Kale Blue switches. I'm Joanne, and if you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons. Also, be sure to follow me on social media, Joanne Tech Lover Facebook fan page, Joanne Tech Lover Twitter, and Joanne Tech Lover on Instagram. Also, don't forget to hit the donate button so you can help expand this channel and feed this techie. One last thing is storeenvy.com where you can check out my 8.5 by 11 inch prints that you can buy. I guess all that's left to say is bye!